Well, welcome back guys to another episode of the Pedscape Challenge. Previously, you did see us lift up the Chinese FA Cup over that two legs against Beijing. So we're going to start the next season. We are still with Shenzhen and we're going to see how we go. But we've got a nice little surprise in there for you. It's a very big surprise I wasn't expecting. But I'll just show you what that is right now as we head into this episode. And there we have it, guys. We are in our first Asian Champions League. Apparently, winning the Chinese FA Cup gives you a qualification for the Asian Champions League, which is a little bit crazy for me. I'm over the moon with it, but we're going to get straight in and see who we actually draw and see what the group stage we have in this amazing competition that we've got and try and win for the first time. So we're going to just do automatic. It might be take a little bit longer. Uh, but that's how I like to do my Champions League and European draws. So we're going to flick through there and see who we actually get. And I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not going to lie. Uh, some of these teams, I'm not quite sure who they are or... <laughs> like, if like playing against them is going to be a bit difficult. But it'll be interesting to see who exactly we get drawn against. Uh, I think... I think the couple of Saudi Saudi Arabian teams are some of the best ones in there. I think the Saudi Arabian teams have won it quite a lot. I'm not. A, I think it's uh, Al Al Shababa. They have won won it a couple of times. I'm pretty sure they are a very highly highly uh, anticipated team in there and a real strong one. So uh, avoiding them would be would be great. It looks like we are. I think we're fourth seeded. Yeah, oh, we're, we're third seeded, so we're in there. So we we've got a, a Japanese side and a Thailand. Side. We'll have a look through them teams in just one second and see exactly what we're dealing with and what we've got to play against there. But I'm really excited to get into this sort of, I really am. And uh, we get a Korean side as well. Okay, that's, that's, I'll take that, I'll take that. Some real good size in there, I think. But yeah, it's going to be interesting. So let's have a quick goosey gander at exactly what teams we are playing. So, Wang Thong. We're going to go with that, yep. Uh, they've got poor reputation, actually. They've only got two two-star reputation. Might be interesting to see how we get on with these. They, they're not really high uh, value of money as well. They've got only, only got good training facilities and uh, good youth facilities. I think we should could potentially beat them. I don't see the issue there against them. That's not a problem. We'll take on them. Uh, then we have... I, well, I can't even get their, I can't even get their stuff up. So a Japanese side that we, we we can't even get their credentials and all that stuff up, which is a bit weird. So that's going to be an interesting one against these. We'll see how the uh, how they do what in there. But it's a bit strange that I can't see anything about the club. But okay, uh, Ulsan. I do. I have heard of Ulsan before, purely from the Korean league, because we did have a look over there in the previous episodes to see what we can do. But yeah, that's. That's a good group. I think we can get through this group. I really do. Who's their key player? Uh, there's a captain, so their key player is a regen. Okay, he's a very, very good player. Wow, is he? Li he's listed as well for 1.3 million. Okay, he's a good player. We might bring him in. <laughs> he's a 19-year-old South Korean player. We might pinch him. But yeah, that's the group, guys. I'm, I'm really happy with that. I think we can qualify through that. I really do. Uh, then we go into the knockout stages, but... Yeah, but uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. This is going to be a fun, a fun year. So that changes the whole concept of how I'm going to do this uh, this season. You're more than likely going to see me doing the Asian Champions League more than the league. I might do one Asian Champions League game and then do one chi Chinese Premier League one. It depends how how the uh, how the fixtures pan out and how it actually goes. There. If I have a look here. So we can see there that we've got the Champions League. Yeah, the Champions League is in the middle. So obviously we'll do like uh, one Chinese Premier League game and then one Champions League and then vice versa all the way through the season. And then when we get down to the nitty gritty of that. But first and foremost, we have got a... Oh, we've got two Champions League games uh, straight off the bat. So that's going to be interesting. Two Champions League games and then we have uh, Guangzhou in the Super Cup. Shall we play one of the Champions League games today? And this episode, absolutely. Let's get play. Let's get one. Let's play. I'll go for the friendly, and then we'll uh, we'll play all sun and see how we get on. 
We're here, guys. We're at the first game of the Asian Champions League. Now, there is a few rules in here that I can only have three players that are non-Chinese or non-foreign to the, the club that you play for. So, unfortunately, we've had to leave out Giannetti. It's not, it's not the best choice, but I feel like Adrian Silva... Uh, Salonese and Salcedo are my three best non-Chinese players. That means in the center, in the spine of the tactic, as we'll show into, as we go into the tactic here. As you can see in the spine, we have Salcedo, we have Salonese, and we have Silva. That is the spine. It's right down the middle. So uh, we've kept them in there, and they are the three non-Chinese players that we're going to use. If we do get through this group stage, we've still got room in the transfer window to maybe replace Silva with a better non-Chinese striker. Uh... Susa is, is out, out the window now. I'm not going to use Susa purely because of his age. He's 34. He's not got the acceleration. He's not got the agility, and he's not got the stamina to play in the in this in this team. We have tried offloading, but no one's going for him because of his age. But we, I think we're going to bring in another non-Chinese player and replace Silver with him because Silver isn't as clinical as I want him to do. But this is the team we've got so far, and this is who we're going with. It's going to be an interesting one. It really is. It's going to be the first game of the Asian Champions League. We have got Ulsan. A Korean team. Let's see how we get on against them. Let's go straight into this. Right, and off we go, guys. The first game of our Asian Champions League campaign is on. Off we go. We got to throw another right hand side. It's a good start from us. A big throw plays to Wang. Yang picks up the ball, plays it back to Dunlun. Dunlun, hopefully, doing his normal runs that he likes to do. Selenies gets the ball, plays a big ball over to Tan. Tan picks it up. Loses the ball, kind of stumbles across it poorly. Uh, they're going to break with us now with Johnson. Johnson powering through. Plays a good ball into it. Swings out. And it's a great save by Wang. Doing what he finished off last season with and putting great performances in. It's a great save down to his left-hand side. Parries away with a strong hand. A corner to them. It's going to get whipped in from the right-hand side. It's a good header from Silva. If they pick up the loose ball from one of our players, it's a good cross in. Johnson's there. Wang with his handling. Really high. Keeps hold of that ball. Doesn't let a parry out. And we go. Another corner coming in from the right hand side. It's another good whip in. Loop. Oh, I, just, I, I was looking at what was happening there, and as Lou edited it away, we tripped up a player in the box. There was no need for it. It was a stupid, stupid thing to do. They were, we were breaking, and he's just tripped a player up for no reason whatsoever. Absolutely idiotic. And it's 1 0 to them. Not a good start. Not what we needed, but that is unbelievably stupid. Uh, I need to find out who that player was. When I find out who that player is, he will not be playing again in this league. Uh, definitely not. That was absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to check actually to see who that was because it's, it's irritating me who gave that uh, said foul away. Just one sec here. Who is that? I can't quite see who that is. Feng. Feng is now not going to play for us. After pushing someone over in the box when there's just no need for it, Feng will not be playing in this uh, cup ever again for us. He is out now. Don't care. He's out. We get another throw in there on the right hand side. Dolan's going to throw it long as he does. He's a good header for their defender. Picks up by Adrian Silva though, which is nice. Salonese then gets the ball. Can he spread it again like he normally does? He's just toppling away, waiting for the ball to be played in a good place. A bad pass again. Feng in the uh, there again. Not going to get the ball. They pick up the loose ball crazily. Feng gets a nice little uh, toe in, but it goes straight back to their player. These looks like these are just going to try and hit us on the counter attack, and it seems to be working at the minute. Uh, as they keep the ball around it, the keeper's just going to keep hold of it. No one's rushing him. As the player rushes, he just plays out to his centre off, nice and easy. Lovely build-up play, just patient build-up play. A great ball, splits both our defenders. It's a good strike, goes off one of our players, but our left-back is now out of position. As he cuts, cross comes in, he hits it in, it's 2-0. Not a good start. This Johnson is running ragged. We're so poor. I don't know what's going on. We are so poor. We're not the same team as we played last year. This is just horrendous. It's an horrendous start to the campaign for this uh, Asian Champions League. And a team that I thought we were going to absolutely dominate. We've just been so poor and uh, <sighs> players just don't know what they're doing. Absolute shocking. Shocking. We get a long throw, though, on the stroke of our time. Played in by Dolan. I didn't say, oh, Kleeper claims it well. Andrew Silva's there, but doesn't do anything. Kleeper claims it, holds onto it beautifully uh, a huge throw out there oh and he just knocks it past our left back our defenders in no man's land we just runs all the way through we young woo <laughs> sixes and sevens guys sixes and sevens play a short goal kick to salcedo feng's going to get the ball it's a heavy touch luckily gets it to meng with a nice little touch there as well we've got a wide open here from dolan dolan's going to power forward on the right hand side can he get a good whip in it's a great tackle it's a great tackle that's what we should be doing but we just can't Look at this run down the left-hand side. Obviously, Dolan is now missing because he made that run all the way up there. And Ryu's just going to run all the way through. And another penalty. 
It's another penalty. What a shambolic performance by this team. Honestly, it's an absolute embarrassment. I don't even want to say I'm managing this team because they've all just panicked and struggled and just move on. Move on because this, this, this is an embarrassment to our football club. Ashamed, an absolute diabolical performance and something that should not be replicated ever again. God help them when the, when the match is ended. Corner comes in. It's a good whip in. Salcedo gets the ball, though. Menga's going to pick it up. Hopefully, he can play a good ball over the top. Nope to no one. Yet again, panic stations there. I don't know how these are just like... These are just soaking the pressure up for us because we're not doing anything at all. It's absolutely shocking. So, Salamese gets the ball, though. So, a nice little whip up to Dullon there. Loads of space. Loads of space. Can he get across in? It's another great tackle. He's having, This guy's having a match field day against him. Silver gets it. It's a great save but luckily we get a Callum Wilson goal as we like to call him the keeper parries it out and we put the ball in the back of net to an empty net as well 3-1 it's not good enough though not good enough it's a good start to the off but we need a better one we need a better one than this it's another great tackle from Ryu a good whip in though like Silver's missing from that angle which is absolutely shocking that's why we're on about replacing Silver with a better striker and we really need to have a look into the Chinese market to see what players are out there as we do get a long throw coming in from the left hand side though it's hoofed in their defender does a brilliant job yet again. I was our play is not even challenging for it. Can't be bothered. It's just the biggest competition that these boys have ever been in. Can't be honest with it though. As uh, Rayu makes a run through, and it's going to be four. It's going to be four. One absolute shower of, you know what? Embarrassing. Don't even like. I can't even stress to you guys how bad this performance is. It's it's really unremarkable. It's it's shocking. It's embarrassing. And pure out disgrace to any Chinese football club that's out there to, to replicate in this league, in this competition, and just be this bad. You would not like to be in the changing room with me after this game, put it this way. As Meg's going to put a ball in, it's a fantastic strike and a fantastic set piece. It really is. We'll give him a praise for that because it was a good one, but still. Shocking. <laughs> I'm in shock, guys, how bad we've been. I am at, that's how in shock I am. We are being that bad. We've got big work now. Big work. Corner though, from the right hand side. Salonese is going to whip it in. It's a good knock in. The great defensive header. Silver picks it up though, plays it back to Salonese. Salonese is hopefully going to put a good cross in. No, nope, gets a block. Delon picks it up, plays it in to the centre off. A nice little tidy play there as he stumbles on the ball. We are losing guys, so why are we going back to the goalkeeper? I do not know. Wang picks it up, hopefully finds one of our players. They've kind of got to reset now as he plays it to Salonese. Nice and free space in there. A bad, bad, bad pass. I'm sick of saying it now, guys. He's going to pass it to the middle because that's what happens. And that is five. How many times do your players pass that ball into the middle there or get blocked? Just so you know. 5-2. Yeah, the, the embarrassment carries on. The embarrassment carries on. Goal kick from them, though. They're going to pump it up as far as they can. We kind of get the header there. I think it was like two two headers like just colliding together. As Dolan picks up the ball. He's going to run down the wing, see what he can do. Uh, loses the ball. What a surprise there. Stum stumbling on it because he's like uh, under so much pressure. And that is the red card for Feng. Uh, Salonese. So that's Salonese out of the next game. We're one of our best players. And if not the best player in our pitch who dictates the pace and shows everything out is. So when you want to get kicked down, guys, that's what FM does. It gives you a nice red card. Uh, things we absolutely have to deal with. I'm just going to play that there and just let the game roll on because we're giving up on this one, guys. We're absolutely giving up. It's not our day. FM did not want us to do well in this one. Absolutely not. And we've been shocking. We tried to kind of change things around. Just didn't happen. Uh, they just kept coming at us. We've lost the ball again because we keep hesitating on the ball. And he's going to get it. We could save from the keeper there when you're 5-2 five, five, down. And the keeper's still pulling saves off. It's nice to see. But if he cut that across the box, it would have been 6-2 then. Like we say, we are the man down as well, so they're going to be overrunning us. As the ball comes in, it's a good whip in. It's a good header as well by Meng. Is they going to pick up the loose ball purely because that one less man? It uh, just runs straight past him. No one puts a tackle in there. Tang gets the ball. I thought she was going to give it a big hoof. We've even had 10 shots on, 11 shots on targets as well, guys. But yeah, it's not, it's not happening. It's a free kick inside, just inside that off. Dolan picks it up, though. Plays it to Meng. Meng just hoofs it. No nonsense. Uh, had enough. Just wants, just wants the whistle go, I think, there. Just hoofs it up the field. As they, they try and bring it out of the defence. Just going to pass it round. Like I say, that's another red card. It's another red card, guys. I, 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 I don't know what to say. I, I generally don't know what to say. I, I, I... When football manager goes wrong... This is it. I, I generally have no idea what to say 
What's even cons- I, I'm, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Absolutely speechless. Bad two. Two red cards. Absolute disgrace. Disgrace. Well, that's going to be it. That's all I can say, guys. An absolute... We have got so much work to do here with these absolute embarrassments of football is what we've just seen there. We're going on a rant because that is the most shocking performance I've ever seen in a football manager game. Two red cards. Goals galore everywhere for them. We only scored from two set pieces. Absolute shower of absolute horse crap. This team needs a revamp and everyone is getting evaluated and everyone is going on the transfer list. I will replace these quicker than anything, quicker than the flash. These are getting replaced and this is getting sorted because not one of them deserves a spot in this team for next year after that performance. The biggest competition that these boys have ever played in and that's how they handle it just proves to me these are not ready for this, these big games and this club is not ready for this big game. A big evaluation or we're going to a different club. Try and find a bigger one and a better one to challenge for this Asian Champions League. Because right now, I, I want out because they are not ready for this performance. That's how we're going to see it. But guys, we are going to end it on that one. We had a little bit of a disappointment there and I'm really peed off with what I've just witnessed and what I've just seen. Not happy with it and it's got to change. But if you did like the episode, guys, it's one of them. Not everything goes roses. Not everything on YouTube goes all swimmingly. We've had some success. Now this is the odd part. So yeah, we'll see how we go. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy the episode, please, please uh, hit that like button and uh, hit the subscribe button as well. And hit the bell button gives you a notification when I go live. And if you do want to see more content from me, I stream over at Twitch at www.twitch.tv forward slash form 7 every single day, except for Thursdays. We take Thursdays off. We, are, we now have to have a nice break. But it is all Football Manager content and you'll see more from there. So